to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Or, or because it is nearly pumpkin season, I know I said it, it's nearly officially pumpkin season, you could even grab yourself a pumpkin spice or a hot chocolate you know, latte or whatever you want. Not a hot chocolate latte, but a pumpkin spice latte or a pumpkin spice hot chocolate. I won't judge you, this is a safe space. <laughs> so today's video is in collaboration with Look Fantastic. And um, I'm really grateful that I got to work with them. And what I wanted to show you is the makeup that I've basically been using for the last few weeks now. So as my pregnancy has progressed and the sun has been coming out on the odd day, <laughs> not consistent, but it, when it does come out, it is hot and I'm getting really, really sweaty and struggling, especially with my hair and makeup routine. And um, so I've been wearing these products. I've given them a little sample and actually it's gone down really well. So on my Instagram, a lot of you have asked what makeup I'm wearing or, you know, where this is from or what color shade this is. So this is all of the items. Um, that I've been using and I just wanted to say as well when I went to a party last week it was my mum's birthday party I had this exact makeup routine on I just went in a little bit stronger with the items so a little bit more bronze a little bit more mascara but then no more products exactly this items um so yeah and you can actually get at the moment so look fantastic I'm giving you a great offer at the moment guys you can get up to 35% off if you use the code Rosie BH in capital letters um and it's during bank holiday, so bank holiday weekend, so which is amazing because you can grab yourself a real bargain. I will put the link in the description box below though because it will give you a list of all of the items that are applicable to get up to 35% off, obviously using the code. So I'll put that all in the description box, make it nice and simple. Um, but I've gone for a really natural look, so I thought if you want to see how I went from a little speckled frog this morning into feeling quite dewy and happy it's not like a full-on coverage makeup but it just makes me feel really confident really content so i'm just going to go in now and show you how i achieved it hope you like guys the first product i've used already and i've got it on so that you can see this is actually day five of wear and the reason is i always put this on the day before i do filming and um, when i've collaborated with look fantastic before um but i wanted you to see how it lasts and how it sort of disappears. It doesn't go patchy or flaky like some fake tans can. Um, so this is the Bondi Sands. This is the Australian tan. Now this is the liquid gold and you get 200 mils of this and this is a 14.95, no 14.99. Um, I was using the dark, but I've been finding this one is amazing. It gives you like a really natural sun-kissed golden glow. Only thing I will say is though, when you are putting it on, do small sections at a time because it isn't really, really dark and it does gradually get darker. So some of the tans, you can see instantly where it is, um, but obviously just in case and you end up with patches. This is amazing, it lasts really well. And I, Bondi Sands are really good for not smelling like a biscuit anyway. Um, it smells quite nice with coconut scent. This one's even nicer and Gary's even said to me, your tan looks really natural, it looks really nice, and I'm finding them on certain areas like my hands and my feet, I'm not getting little what's hit toes, it's perfect. So I definitely recommend using that as a base because then when I've got a tan, I feel like I can wear less makeup, I feel nicer without it, with my freckles showing, I just feel a little bit more alive, a little bit more awake. Um, so I'm gonna clip my hair back so that we can actually, oh, very nice. <laughs> And we're going to start off with the BB cream. So the BB cream I'm using today is by the company Note. Um, and this is Advanced Skin Corrector. So it's got, it will conceal age spots, brighten skin tones for all skin types. And it's also got SPF 15 in it, which is really good because that obviously keeps your skin lovely and young for longer. I got this in the shade 500. Um, and I looked on there, to be completely honest, they've got really good on Look Fantastic. They've got two ladies' arms, one of a darker skin, one of a lighter skin, or actually three ladies and a fairer skin. And they show you what they look like on their skin. So you can kind of see roughly what color you would suit. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. This is also paraben free. I've not gone too dark, I've gone a little bit lighter. Um, and you really don't need a lot of this, but this has been, I've got it in my hair now, this has been a saving grace. I'm going to do half my face. And considering it's a BB cream and it's not full coverage, you're going to see how amazing it actually does cover 
but it just feels light like a moisturizer but immediately i'm getting that dull skin um it's just fantastic and you know what it really doesn't melt off it stays on really well but it isn't also needing a good scrub neither look <laughs> put on my, my face look lower um i always put a little bit more under my eyes and over my little veiny bits around my eyes but you'll start to see i can't believe i've got it in my hair that's very annoying but i'm not very professional it really does lift your skin and it, <clears throat> <pardon me. laughs> it really does lift your skin and it's only a bb cream so I'm going to put this on. So the BB cream is actually $11.95, which is a bargain. And do you know what? Because it's so lovely and it's obviously a BB cream, when I take it off, I'm not getting spotty. It's not making me sweaty. If anything, it's improving my skin underneath, which at the minute, I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. I'm feeling a little bit like nothing's going great. And actually, it's just nice to not have to worry about my skin. So this is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend that. This is definitely going to be something I'm going to be using instead of foundation. There is no need to put foundation on. You can still see my freckles through it, but I really like it. I'm going to wash my hands off. <laughs> so this is the Note Bronzer. Um, and this is actually $13.95. Like I said, they're all really really accessible prices um, and I got this in the colour 30. Now this has vitamin E in it so what I love about this is it's actually giving you nice things on your skin um, as well so look at that as well it's lovely so I've not been using a lot of this because like I said I've been putting the tan on on a Sunday evening it's lasting me about 10 days if I'm honest but I just like on a Sunday evening having a good exfoliate and then reapplying my um, tan it just makes me feel nice so with a little brush, I'm just going to, under my sort of cheekbones, just going to add a little bit of this colour. It's so nice. You don't really don't need a lot. I'm hardly touching this. Um, and just going over in the areas to sort of create a bit of a contour on my face. If there's much point at the moment. <laughs> Girls, honestly, and this is, this is a tip. And guys, this is a tip. If you love applying makeup, and you want to, now I embrace my jeans. They're there, I love them. They're just not my beauty reward. They're like, oh, here you go, here's your reward for eating loads of lovely cakes, you know? Um, I'm a cake girl, but if you put loads of bronzer under your jaw and under your chin, it makes the shadow, the chin disappears. I know, you'll thank me later. Just don't put too much on. <laughs> you don't literally want like an orange neck. Um, and then obviously, I always just blend it out. Sorry that you've got to see my bra straps. I currently am at the stage of pregnancy where I can't wear normal bras and all of the straps on them are heavy duty and very on show. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting away with strapless bra at the moment. Um, not got long though, so that'd be all right. Mind you then, then it'd be my nursing bra, so they'll just be on show as well. Um, so I really love this. This is really nice. And obviously this has got vitamin E in it as well. So I really like this. And it goes down the sides of my nose as well. And at the end, oh, a little bit more side then. And then putting this on. This is just so nice. Um, and then we're going to go on to, I've got a little bit of highlighter. A little bit of highlighter. I've got a whole pot of highlighter, but... I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on. So this is the company, The Balms. This is Bonnie Dew Manizer. So this is like, I love these sort of like 40s and 50s pattern ones that you get. They're really cool. Like, so what colour did I get this in? Does it say? Does it say? <laughs> I'm sure there was two colours. Or maybe there wasn't. Maybe that was a different one on there. Um, but it's little highlighter drops. And this one was £13.50. And it's got a really lovely golden colour to it. And it's in a stick. So all I'm going to do is just dab a few dots in the areas I want to reflect the light. Now, I know people say you shouldn't put a highlighter here. I always do. It bounces the light. makes my under eye feel really nice. I'll put a little dot at the end of my nose. Go up. And I normally go under my brow a little bit as well. Um, and you can go here. But I don't because I don't want to make it look like I've got a sweaty top lip. No one needs help with that at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and it gives you the most lovely highlight. 
it's not thick and heavy and just pat that in with my fingers you don't need any brushes for this you could use a beauty blender if you wanted to um but i just blend it in and it really bounces a lot makes me look really dewy like my skin is super fresh and glowy and it's got a very lovely golden pumpkin -y glow to it summer glow or pumpkin glow you be the judge of that um i'm an autumn girl so i'm saying pumpkin glow but it really does add a really nice Colour. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shade one. This is Pinky Beach um, No Blusher. So this I've been loving. Um, so just FYI, by the, by the way, <laughs> these are all products I've actually already been using. So these have been kind of been sent out for me to show you, obviously all the news, so you can see all the packaging and stuff. Um, but I have actually been using all these products anyway. So this is in the pinky blush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Now this color, so I wrote it all down in the background, so, cause I'm professional. Um, so we can see how much it is. This is 8.95, you get a lot of this. What size is this? 5.5 grams, and I'm just gonna make it look smile and add my blusher up to my cheek. I'm gonna not do it too close here, cause it makes your face look lower. So a little bit higher. Add a little bit of pink. I used to find I used to add like quite strong pink. So I used to find if I had tan on, I'd go for a really vibrant pink, but actually you really don't need to. It looks way more subtle and natural. And what I always do is I always add a little bit to my nose as well and a little bit to my forehead because it looks like you're naturally flushed um, rather than you just stuck blush on, you know. Right, so I've got that one. Then the next thing we're gonna go for is my eyes. Now, obviously, I'm not using eyeshadow. I can't be bothered with having to use a million and one products at the moment. So I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer, which I showed you, and just an eyeshadow brush. Um, I find it's just too much otherwise, having too many products. Um, so I just wet my brush a little bit, and it makes it more deep, if that makes sense. And I only do it in the tiny little corner. So on all of my bronzers, you'll see this like little tiny patch at the edge. I know that's not the done thing that you do, but I prefer a bronze. I find you can never get an eyeshadow that matches a bronze. Um, and then also, if you match it to your bronzer, you don't have to blend it as much because it blends with the color that's already on your face. A little bit under my lash line. And it just makes my eyes feel like a little bit more poppy. And because I've got hazel eyes, they look really dark most of the time, unless it's really out in the sun. Um, Gary's cousin actually said to me the other day at a family party, she was like, your eyes go really like amber. They've gone like a greeny amber. And I said, well, it's dead change to the sunlight. I wish they was like this all the time, but the majority, they just look brown. Um, but having a little bit of that like ambery sort of like beigey, bronze, orange color under, it brings the green out a little bit more. Um, so then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. So the mascara I'm using is the 2000 calorie. Now I've raved about this. Now on their website, they have got other mascaras that have got like vitamins in them, or sort of like serums in them for your lashes. But you have to build up, you know, a good layer of it. But because I want fast time quickness, is that a thing? Because <laughs> I want fast time quickness, is that a phrase? And um, because I want to be super quick, this don't need much building um, to it. So I've got this in the black and the mascara is 9.99. It's just amazing. It's got an amazing brush on it. And I literally do the weirdest faces when I do mascara, but you don't need to build this up too much. It goes on really nice. And it just really draws them out. Like really gives you like dolly lashes, really lifts your face up. And I just feel prettier. It just makes me feel oh, cute. So I put on two coats of this real quick and I think extravagant I don't have to stand at ages building it up I just do a little tiny bit of what's left on the brush from my top lashes on my bottom lashes and then I'll go in and do the other side is anyone else doing the mascara face I like like a really sad codfish oh you know like the little fish in the fish tank look trying to look at you really at me at the same time the little fish in the fish tank that just didn't wake up to go get all the food from the top of the tank. That's how I feel. Um, I'm just feeling all sad that I've not been fed yet. That's how I, I think, do you know what? That's actually the feeling you get when you're pregnant. <laughs> I say to Gary, I don't know what I want to eat. I really don't know what I want. And he's like, well, I'll do you anything. And then I get really sad that I'm being bossy. And I'm like, just leave it, it's fine. I'll get something, I'll do something myself. Hormones are real, guys. They're a real thing at the minute. 
Um, so yeah, they don't need too much building. Um, and I really love this. But obviously, let's address the elephant in the room. Rose don't have no eyebrows, so this is what's gonna pull this whole look together. I'm gonna draw myself some eyebrows. I made up for it by having lots of hair on my head and needing to shave my legs all the time. But then, you know, I just never got gifted with the eyebrows too. So I'm using the Note Eyebrow Pencil. And actually, most of this stuff is Note stuff. So I'm using this one and I'm using it in the color. This is the brown, number two. Um, and the this is brown. So this is £8.45. So I'm gonna use this end of the spoolie just to brush up my few baby hairs that I was gifted. Ever so kindly, mum and dad. <laughs> Thank you guys for having no eyebrows because um, it's, it's made my life really hard. I have to draw on eyebrows every day now. It's great. Um, I've got eyebrows, they just stop here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is with this one is I'm just gonna go in and draw a line roughly to where I want my eyebrows to start and I'm just gonna join it up, a straight line to where my arch should be here. And then I'm gonna go above it to the thickness I want and I'm going to do another line like that and then I'm going to join them and it literally is just little brush strokes I'm going in so lightly this is so it's really weird because I find if it's too creamy you don't get the, the hair look if that makes sense it's smudgy too smudgy but then sometimes the sharper it is the harder you're dragging on your eyebrow this is like the perfect consistency it's really creamy but it stays nice and um, sharp so that you can actually draw the hairlines and then I'm going to go in at this bit here and I'm just going to draw little fake hairs. We all, we're all quite aware, if you've been watching me for some time, I used, I used to be quite a fan of the Sharpie on eyebrows. Not literally, but I used to look it because I used to just go in with a brush um, and a pencil, like not a pencil, just like thick pomade. Um, but I don't do that no more, I try. Um, so. It just takes more effort. I think when you've been gifted eyebrows, you'll never understand. <laughs> the more it feels like having to fill these in day in, day out. Sometimes I just haven't got the energy for it, but this pencil's definitely making it a lot easier. Um, so I'm just gonna go in. Sorry, I have to go a bit quiet with my eyebrows. They're quite an art. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot lighter as well, because they used to be black. My hair used to be this color, and I used to just have black eyebrows, which makes no sense. Um, I just thought the darker, the better. I think I was overcompensating. I was like, I ain't got no eyebrows. So I was whoa, let's go with a black one. That'll be fine. Um, no one will know. <laughs> so I'll go in and draw the little fine hairs. And then what you can do after is you can build this up. It's completely buildable, but I'm going for quite a light um, one. And I just brush my eyebrows up in the position that they would be in. You can do this a lot stronger. I have when I've got heavy makeup on. Um, and you can really go dark with these. I sort of make them sort of the base of my root, but I don't really want to at the moment because I'm liking the the um, lighter, the better, more natural. I feel much better. I might actually go in a little bit more stronger actually because as I put my hair down, they looked even lighter, didn't they? So I'm just going to go back in with some strands of hair. Yeah, that's better. Second go in, but it's really nice this one. Definitely would recommend using this one. I was using another one that you could like twist up and it kept breaking, but at least with this you can sharpen them. Um, so they're really good. And then I'm gonna go on to my last thing, which is my lipstick. Um, so this is my trademark lipstick. <laughs> Not trademark, but I wear it every day and I have done for years. So it's my little trademark. My mum and that always get me one of these at Christmas or something. So this is really good. Even though it's bank holiday office, if you're gonna get up to 35% off, you could even get some of these to squirrel away for stocking fillers and stuff. Um, but this is the MAC matte lipstick. Um, I always get the matte and I always get it in the shade 616 top. Now, I put it on really strong with a liner, with a MAC liner, normally the um, Spice liner, at the color Spice. Um, but when I'm going for more natural, I literally just put it on my lips without a brush, apply it, and then just spread it with a finger to get that really nice little, just a bit of colour on my lips. And then it leaves me feeling really, really nice. I feel like this is enough of a look to go out. I feel nice and comfortable. I feel like I've got a little glowy look. Now you obviously can add to this, you can add a little bit more mascara, you can go a bit more full on with this. 
This normally takes me between five and 10 minutes in the morning, depending on what kid of mine wants to sort of like, say, mum, can you do this, can you do that? Normally five minutes. If I've got five minutes to myself, this takes five minutes and I just really don't feel conscious at all. It's just like it's a nice, comfortable look. And this actually will last all day. So this has been my little summer girl slash pregnancy slash autumn video um i hope you enjoyed it so this is with um look fantastic so obviously don't forget to go on there i've got the put the link down below in the description box and if you go on there it will list all the items that are applicable to this up to 35 percent off using the code rosie bh and that's win capital letters so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video i'll also leave the links as well if you want to directly go to these products and have a look for yourself i hopefully you've enjoyed this and you have a lovely rest of your week guys take care enjoy your back Bye.